his Dark Materials. First of all, already tentatively optimistic because it's titled His Dark Materials instead of Golden Compass. So that's a, a lot more encompassing. That's the actual name of the series instead of just a book in it. But it does all start there for me, the book um, Golden Compass. I suspect I may have come on it a little bit later in life. I know a lot of people that found it in middle school. I didn't get it quite that early. It was more like high school for me, I think, but absolutely loved it. I've, I've read the series multiple times. There's so many powerful character moments in it that I will not talk about unless they um, actually happen in this TV series as well. And then I can comment on, oh wow, that was so heavy for me as a kid and it sucked here or it was well delivered here. It was awesome here. So we'll see how it goes. Of course, I did see the movie when it came out. It was uh, incredibly disappointing for me, Part of that was, I'm sure, my incredible bias and the huge weight that I put on it because I really like this series so much and I think it's so powerful. Um, I should have done more research before recording this. I think there was uh, some interesting challenges they had to come over with the, the film also, including some religious challenges uh, in America. So I, I can see, especially now with all the uh, China controversy, Blizzard and Disney and whatnot, but I can see um, big money producers bending in front of anyone they think is going to raise a foot and fuss and, and cut into future profit margins. I'm very cynical and, and despair of the greed of humanity here in America. I feel like the BBC is a more trustworthy source for doing something correctly, doing something, and by, and by correctly, what I mean is not a word for word transcript but uh, a true intent to either capture the essence of a thing in a recreation of it or even a reboot of it or the desire to make something artistically or emotionally or creatively valuable as opposed to something where it's just a license to print money. The same way Disney is just making every movie they've ever made over again exactly the same because people, you know, it'll make them money. Why not? It requires no effort on their part. Part of my encouragement in believing BBC can live up to that is the fact that Lin-Manuel Miranda attached himself to his project. Uh, I've not actually even seen Hamilton, but uh, I am a, a fan of uh, of his and have he's he features on multiple podcasts and interviews. He's very, you know, parallel and adjacent to a lot of the things that I like in my life. And he puts a really heavy emphasis on artistic integrity and I trust that that is true from at least that one person so I, I trust this one and this is a, a Lin-Manuel Miranda if you're listening to this this uh, review or this intro to our uh, a review of this uh, HBO series you know I'm putting a, a heavy heavy yoke heavy weight on your shoulders I'm just kidding I mean I do trust you but that's not what it's all about really I feel like the the casting um is pretty good the look is pretty good the girl I remember from Logan um I really like her performance in that and I feel like she'll do a good job in this role as Lyra I, I really I'm just I'm I'm trying to manage my expectations because I've been burned on this one before but I am excited and uh, I'm watching the first episode hope it's gonna be good Right, so the uh, demons are shape-shifting. A kid's demon can change form at will. It becomes fixed when they're an adult. And believe me, man, I used to think all the time about what my demon would be. Never came across a satisfactory answer, though. Ooh, I know what that reference is! <sighs> okay, that's a, the, the titular item from the, the very first book, The Golden Compass. Ooh. Oh, these are, this is very cool and artsy looking, but it's also um, a lot of uh, fun foreshadowing for the future. Uh, this intro sequence is going to make more and more and more sense to you as you watch, and I do not think it will make complete sense in the first season. You're, I, I don't know how much they pack into a season, but based on the title, I think they're going to do the whole story start to finish, and there's a lot there. So, no, I'm not going to go into it with those kinds of spoilers. Just, it would, t it would be an unfun explanation. It would take a long time. Just watch the show. Okay, so I'm, I'm back up to being excited again on the, on the basis of this intro. It, it, because more than anything, it is a representation of the intent, meaning the what's cool about this as a holistic series, not just a book that has, oh, cool. Well, I don't want to spoil it for you. We haven't finished watching this episode yet. Just with the intro, it shows uh, a desire to create a finished project, not just 
pick a couple cool scenes for a fantasy book that a bunch of people like and put them on the big screen. <laughs> well, she slept through getting dragged by her feet out of a box? By her foot, even. Damn. Uh, that makes more sense. She just wanted to get carried. What a freeloader. Wow, I love how in this world, the, uh, uh, uh on first glance, uh, the extravagant travel style of flying through the air on Giant Blimp is apparently free. Dude's just like, oh yeah, a little girl screaming to get on. Come on, come on then. I'm sure they did just to avoid having to burn in their two minutes, having ticket exchange in their, uh, their fast-paced first episode. They're just trying to feed you the important information. Nobody cares about handing tickets to a guy, but... Right, well, first off, I'm happy that the Egyptians seem intriguing. You know, one of the most monumentally disappointing scenes for me with the uh, Golden Compass film that came out a little while back was the kind of meetup of the... I'm trying to watch what I say. From I don't mind spoiling it for, uh, any, for anyone who's watching this video because you saw the, the spoilers... <laughs> uh in the in the title and so you're uh you've entered at your own risk or you already know enough and you're just interested in hearing someone else's take i'm trying to be careful about what i say in front of lulu who's my editor so i can't really keep any secrets on this but the the scene with the egyptians um the main meetup in the film was for me in the books one of the coolest things and then see how it was in the film just being so cheesy and 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 lame i don't know the, the, and and them not really mattering or featuring up until anyway up until that point so no uh, i i like that better about this one i'll say of episode one that it does feel a bit rushed um kind of like they're blazing through as much exposition as they possibly can and just trying to change scenes as quickly as they can which is okay I get it. Um, a book to film. It, there's so much more you can put in a book uh, than in a more visual medium with uh, that where the pacing is not just as quickly as a human being can consume the information, um, but involves many other factors. So, I, I I get it from that perspective. And also, the the first book honestly is a little bit of a slog at the very very beginning. Just kind of getting into the meat of the story you know it, it provides some useful information and sets a lot it does a lot of character de creation um development and introduction i, I get all that it kind of sets up the world a little bit but yeah the beginning of the first book is a little bit boring so i think they're trying to push through all of that i mean they're headed to london at the end of episode one in the TV show. They're really trying to get to the stuff that they think people are going to pay attention to and maybe cut through some of the stuff that doesn't matter as much from the perspective of telling telling the story. So, yeah, no, um, I'm, okay, I'm okay with it. I, I like it so far. Uh, I, there, not, not a ton has happened that I can lay judgment on uh, so, so far because it's, it's mostly just been a rapid fire. Here's the world. Here are the people in it. Lyra, you're important. Or Lyra, rather. You're important. Uh, demons are a thing, there's river folk, and, uh, gobblers are taking kids. Moving on, just a big push of l laying as much groundwork as they, as they can. So, uh, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if, as it goes, if it, uh, it reaches a more approachable kind of pacing plot-wise. And then again, uh, I know this is what's gonna make or break it for me, and it's so incredibly unfair to the creators of this show, and it's so incredibly unfair to me because I'm creating I have expectations that I've created in my mind through years of access to source material and rereading it at several pinnacle moments in my life I've imagined things a certain way and when I see them a different way they will be wrong they'll be wrong because they'll be different from what I imagine my own head which nobody can access but me it's insanely unfair and it sucks because I'd love to be able to love this but I know that that is the the starting point for the relationship now what I'm hoping is these iconic scenes that I've built up in my own mind. I think other people could portray them in a way which will be really, really cool and really emotionally powerful. And I'm hoping um, that they can do that in this. Honestly, th just, just what happens in the story should be enough to pull that off, or you would think so. But again, the movie flopped so hard on a couple of them, uh, the ones that that it had in it. I'm going to see about the pacing, if it feels like uh, it reaches a point where it's 
bringing you along on a journey instead of pushing a bunch of information down your throat so that you can get on to the next thing. And then as they occur, these really striking scenes and scenarios and things that happen in the story. Um, you know, if any of them come across as cheap or lame or lazy, uh, that'll be a, be a big mark against it for me. But we haven't gotten any of them yet, and we won't for a little while. So anyway, um, I'm also excited. I referenced in my, my intro that, and, oh, man, I'll have to come back and uh, I'll go back and do some research and be better prepared for the second episode. Um, but I mentioned in my intro that there was apparently some religious pushback in the States from different religious groups against the creation of the film. And you see in this in that you know the magisterium is a very religiously sort of organization in the big structures and yes father and uh we have to tell the cardinal blah 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 but as the um as the show progresses it'll be interesting to see how they handle some of the more um potentially volatile content from a religious perspective yeah we'll see how it goes i'm very i'm very interested to, to continue watching and and I guess that's really you know the first episode of a show should be a hook and I'm hooked I'm actually really aggravated that I watched the first episode on the premiere night because now I have to wait for further episodes um so you know it is job and I'm I'm, I'm excited to see episode two and if you're excited to hear one person's opinion about it someone that you don't even know and shouldn't really care about um we are going to continue watching the show. Uh, we are going to continue recording my musings about it. I didn't have much funny mockery, which if anyone's coming back for the funny mockery, I'm so close to this. It's it's going to be hard for me unless this show takes a really negative downward spin. Um, but at the very least, I can share what I liked and what I didn't. And as we all get a little bit more pulled into the plot and the characters, I can talk a bit more about why, um, because there'll be more context for those decisions so uh like and subscribe and watch for more